just saw this butt cough. Some guy flies around like Superman and almost destroys the world by proxy. Seriously, they never call him Superman. Probably because the name's not dark or edgy enough. But why stop there? I say they could have gone even darker. Here's the pitch. You still have the kryptonite prologue. Cut out all that codex crap. Instead, it's near the end of a very bloody civil war between the true-born children of Krypton and the chest tube genetic freaks. But the planet's not exploding. The people are! Due to a biological weapon launched by General Zod, leader of the TTGFs, in order to kill all of the trueborns. But Jor-El, leader of the Birthers, launches a counter bioweapon to kill all the mutants. And so, with the population dwindling, Jor-El sends his only son, Clark Kent, into space to conquer Earth. For the glory of the true-born Kryptonian people! So four million years later, Clark's ship arrives in Gotham City, crushing Mark Hamill. Bit of a cameo there. Hey, he was the Joker. So he's found by Tom and Martha Wayne. They just had their son gunned down by the guy that Clark's ship just crushed. I know, I know, but Bruce has to be dead so that Daredevil can take up the reins. So they raise little Clark Kent as their own. They never change his last name to Wayne, though, because they want him to know at every opportunity that is adopted. Angst! So little Clark goes through life thinking he's just another normal kid with distant billionaire parents, until one day he discovers he has heat vision and accidentally fries the face off of some fat ginger kid. Don't worry, he survives. This is a family picture. But then he finds he has other powers. Flight! Strength! Ow! And time-reversing powers! But when he's trying out his reverse powers, he accidentally turns back time to when he once stopped a train that was about to hit his father. But this time, Clark wasn't there. Saving the lives of hundreds of people. But now his father's dead! And his mother is so filled with grief that she goes bonkers and uses Wayne Enterprise's vast resources to become a supervillain. Mamra, or Mothra. Mamthra! So the next act is Clark running around trying to stop his mom from taking over the world with reverse-engineered Kryptonian tech from Clark's ship. They held on to it. But when he finally catches up to her, it turns out that she was being mind-controlled by some mind-warpy thingy. And it's actually coming from Clark's ship. It was going to be used to program Clark to become an unstoppable killing machine. See what it did there? So he smashes it! But then a message comes on. At last, I have found the last of the Kryptonian birthers. I will kill you for the glory of Krypton! But Krypton blew up. I read about it in the ship's logs, along with my true Kryptonian heritage and my purpose for being on this planet. Then you must know that you were sent here to destroy it, for the birth is a Krypton! I have chosen not to. All of my stuff is here. Then I will destroy it, for the test tube genetic freaks of Krypton! And so General Zod's doom ship arrives. And with his three elite lieutenants, Krom, Lisa, and Retro Zod, they start to tear up the planet! But then of course Clark is all... Stop! Don't do it! The people! And so a globe-spanning fight ensues, destroying everything in their path! New York, frozen! L.A. sunk, England teabagged, Tokyo kaijued, Australia tilt. So he finally beats him and Lois Lane says, I think I love you. I can never marry you. Climax! Clark and Zod are fighting on top of the Doom ship with a MacGuffin missile armed and aimed at Earth. They're fighting. Clock is ticking. T-minus plot remaining. But then it fires! <laughs> All of your strength, and you could not save your adopted home. That may be, but I don't have to save you. What? No! Ah! So Clark picks up Zod and throws him at the missile. Come on, Louie! And so the bioweapon blows up safely over Earth's atmosphere. And for the record, it was the missile that killed Zod. Our beloved hero's moral iconography is saved. And so we end our movie with Super Clark flying through the vacuum of space without a helmet. Oh, and at the end of the credits, we have Lex Luthor making a cybernetic joker out of the remains of Mark Hamill. The end! Kid grows up to become the general manager of an IHOP. He even has a nickname. Fryface! I smell a future villain. Smells like bacon. <laughs>